In our home, the haircuts are basically done by me. And I cut Ian's hair every couple of months. I have absolutely 0% hairdressing background. The clippers that we use are very big and bulky, the sort of standard ones that you'd find in a barbershop. And it doesn't have a massive lead on it either, so we have to get an extension lead and plug that, take it through to the bathroom where we do it. That can be a little bit onerous just to get it all set up and done. I tried this thing called the fade. I asked Professor YouTube what that was. <laughs> <laughs> and so I tried it, but then it wasn't so much a fade as it was a slash. I would say it's definitely an area of our life that could be hopefully streamlined with some, some decent tech. We've got three clippers from different brands. What we've done is we've covered up the branding so that you're not swayed by brand names or any brand allegiances that you may have. That's right, this test is purely about performance and we want Ian and Seki to choose which pair of cordless clippers will best replace their cumbersome corded ones. I hope you have some hair that we can chop. Zing. Ch trim. trim, trim, chop. Trim, don't let Georgie anywhere near your hair. <laughs> They don't know it, but the first clippers to tackle Ian's hair are the budget pick from Hattaker and cost just over £30. Oh, it's very shiny. Shiny, good. It feels like I should get a gold tooth to match it. <laughs> <laughs> the clippers come with 10 colour coded guide combs, all at different lengths. And that feels smooth. Today's short back and sides will be Ian's usual and number two. Oh. This is a lot shorter than I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> Which, unusually on the Hattaker, is three millimetres, rather than the industry standard six. Nobody show Ian what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you don't mind, Ian. Despite their grading being a little off, these budget clippers have a blade made from high carbon steel. The ones that we use at home, there's sometimes like there's a bit of a tug to them, and feel a bit clunky. But this, uh, yeah, a bit of a breeze in comparison, really. Okay. They're waterproof too, handy for using in the shower, and they come with a three-hour runtime. I feel like, as, a, as an amateur, <laughs> that's done its job. Yeah, nice even cut. So, an impressive cut from the budget blades, despite the shorter than intended finish. Next up, it's the most expensive pair on test, the Babyliss Super X Metal Series, costing just under £90. It's not bling bling, it just looks really simple. These clippers are also waterproof, have a three hour runtime, and come with 10 combs. But Ian, don't worry, these are the industry standard lengths. So, to ensure a fair test, Seki is trimming to three millimeters, which in this case is a number one comb. The grip is better, I would say, uh, but it does vibrate a bit more than the first. And it's not long before Seki is done with the most expensive pair of clippers. How is it looking, Seki? It looks neat. Nice and neat. So, with a neat and satisfying cut from Babyliss, it's onto the last in our lineup, and it's our mid range pair, the Wall Rapid Clip, costing $49.99. It feels on the cheaper end of things, okay. because okay. just from the material itself, plastic instead of metal. The wall clippers have a stainless steel blade and once again, for consistency, we're going for a three millimeter cut, which like the Babyliss is a number one. What are you getting? How does it feel? Uh, very smooth. Yeah. It does have good coverage. For one Ooh. swipe, I felt like, oh, there's all that hair gone. <laughs> is it a satisfying sort of glide that you yes, get in? Yes, yeah. Mm. In, how's that feeling on your scalp? It actually feels the most comfortable. Despite a satisfying experience, the Wild's battery life is an hour less than its rivals. But Seki is impressed by the speed of Ian's trim. Well, I'm finished. So if that's a third of this experiment, then I would be finished in no time at all, actually. Yeah. That was really nice. OK. With our mid-price pair doing a solid job, the test is over and Ian is well and truly trimmed. But which pair is their favourite? Will they go for number one, our budget option from Hattica? Number two, the most expensive clippers on test from Babyliss. Or number three, the mid-price pair from Wall. Number, number three. three. Oh. Number three. 
So the third set of clippers were from Wow, forty nine ninety nine. So they were actually our mid range mm. okay, set. It matches the brand that we have at home, actually, but with a wire. So the first pair you tried was our budget pair, thirty one pounds sixty two pence from a brand called Heteka. The second clippers that you tried were our most expensive pair on test. They cost £89.99 and they were from Babyliss. Right. Oh, I recognise the brand. Which is a good thing because it shows that you're actually getting true value for money mm. by choosing the third set. So there you go. You really can get that barbershop look without breaking the bank.